hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is me and on today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this lovely wrap dress and if you are new to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and if you're returning subscriber thank you so much do not forget to turn on post notification to get notified whenever i post new videos so i made use of two years of turkey crepe yes that's what i used in making that lovely gown so if you're on a bigger size you can make use of two and a half yard or three yards yes i folded my fabric into two i want to cut the front part before i cut the back yes i'm not cutting both of them together so i folded it using the bigger biggest part of my upper part which is the bust uh, measurement divided by four plus your sewing allowance so i had to make that starting point so that it will be very very easy for you guys to see and for me to do uh, start my markings also so i found out that my uh tailor check wasn't marking out so well so because of the fact the fabric is a bit stretchy so i had to change my check so after marking out the starting point i'll go ahead and mark out my uh half length which is 17 inches then i'll add one inch for sewing allowance for joining of the down part and for joining of the shoulder then I'll move over to the shoulder, which is shoulder divided by two plus half an inch for the sleeve joining. So on that shoulder line, you come down by one inch, which is for the shoulder slant. Yes. Then I forgot to take down my tape, though I added the one inch while I was dividing my armhole measurement. And how to get your armhole is bust measurement divided by six plus 1.5 inches then after getting that i'll go down by 10 inches which is my shoulder to nipple so you get your shoulder to nipple that is your bust line you get your bust bust line so once you're done doing that you take all your measurements you divide your bust divided into four plus 1.5 inches so for the sewing allowance yes then you go down to your uh half length you divide your waist divided by your waist measurements divided by four plus 1.5 inches i decided to use 1.5 inches for the sewing allowance in case i add weight or anything so it's safer to use 1.5 inches and not just one inch for your sewing allowance i love working with more sewing allowances yes so once you're done doing that you move over to your uh, armhole then you take down the tape you divide your armhole you take down your tape to that one inch then you divide your armhole into two then you come in by half an inch and you curve it just the way i am doing it right now or you can use your french curve and do that yes so once you are done doing this you come over to your shoulder line then you mark four inches yes the front part of the neckline is like a boat uh neckline yes boat neckline if you know what that means then i used one inch for the neck depth so you connect it just like i am doing it or you can use your french curve to do that so once you are done doing that the next thing to do is to cut it out so you cut it out just like i am doing right now follow the lines i actually forgot to uh mark out my shoulder slant and i am doing it just right now so you cut it out do it very slowly you don't have to really rush things here then you cut everything out so at this point if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so to get all these juicy juicy videos on how to make your beautiful dresses if you have not yet subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button and if you're returning subscriber thank you so much like this video share drop your questions on the comment section and i'll attend to it immediately so i will move over to the back part uh, folding my fabric into two plus extra one inch for the zipper allowance which you can see right there that i've already marked out yes then you place all your necessary measurements omitting the neck depth 
and the armhole part for now yes yeah, so i'll place all the necessary markings which i already did for the front i'll place everything right here so i'll just mark out my armhole mark out everything yes i'll divide my armhole into two yes then i'll go down to my waistline i'll divide my waistline into four plus 1.5 inch inches then i'll place my bust measurement on the armhole part so it will be easy for me to do it this way so once i'm done doing that i'll come over to the armhole and i'll curve it this way remember not to go in by half an inch because this is not the front part so i'll go over to my neckline then i'll mark four inches as neck width then i'll go down by two inches as the neck depth yes the neck depth is two inches and the neck width is four inches then i'll curve it right there then i'll place my shoulder slant so in order to eliminate the zip bulge at the center back i will go in by half an inch at the waist part yes then on the line where i started marking out my uh sewing allowance that zipper allowance i will go in to the waistline by half an inch then i'll use a long ruler to connect the lines together you can actually decide to go in by one inch at that waist part you go in by one inch depending on how stretchy your fabric is yes you can decide to go in by one inch so once i'm done connecting the lines with the long ruler i will open up the zipper part in order to help me to cut out that half an inch at the waist part i'll cut it out this way so once i'm done doing that i'll cut out the neckline the shoulder slant the armhole and i'm done cutting out the upper part of this lovely dress yes so this is the front part and that is the back part so i'll be making use of brown paper for the down part because it's a wrap dress you have to do a lot of cutting so i'll measure up my hip measurements and make sure it is enough while folding and i'll add 1.5 inches for the sewing allowance then i'll mark out this half an inch for my starting point yes then i'll also measure my waist inches divided by four plus 1.5 inches then i'll mark out from the waist part i'll go down by nine inches you can decide to go down by eight inches so you come up to your waist part you divide your waist measurement into four plus 1.5 inches then you go down to your hip line then you divide your hip into four plus 1.5 inches then you mark it down yes yeah, so once you're done doing that you place your tip at your waist line then you take it down to the length of the skirt so choose the length you want you go down then you mark it out just like i'm doing now remember to add your sewing allowance at the down part and i am working with 1.5 inches so once you're done connecting the lines together you take your tape you measure out your hip measurements you place your hip measurements minus one inch on that down part yes so once you're done you use your ruler to connect the lines together yes you connect from the down part to your hip then from your hip to your waist then that sharp edge you blend it very very well with your uh, marker yes so once you're done doing that we are basically done for the front part remind you this is the front part i'm not gonna add any that to it nothing at all so i'll use my scissors paper scissors to cut it out remember not to cut out that half inch that i marked out for the starting point because you'll be using it to join the upper part i'll be using the same pattern paper to cut out for the back part so before i do that i'll put my fabric on fold then i'll mark out one inch for the zipper after marking out the one inch i'll place my pattern paper just like this yes i'll place it like this at that exact line then i'll use my pin to hold it down 
so it's basically time to cut it out you cut it out this way yes and this is for the back part if you remember so because of the fact that uh paper makes uh scissors blunt i decided to mark out my lines with uh trace my lines with my check before cutting it out once you're done cutting you separate your pattern paper from your fabric then you from your waist to your hip you mark out the lines which i use nine inches then from the waist part you mark out half an inch to eliminate bulge for the zipper then you connect the line just like this you connect it just like this so you open it up just like this yes you open your zipper part just like that then you cut out the half an inch just like i'm doing now then you set it aside so moving over to the pattern paper choose where you want your wrap to be i want mine to be on the left hand side so from the waist i'll measure down to 16 inches by the side then from the center i will go down with 18 inches yes i'll go down with 18 inches so once you're done doing that you connect your lines together just like this you make a curve just like i am doing right now you connect it very very well carefully trace it if you are with your curved ruler you use it and trace it so you cut it out very very gently just like i am doing it right now cut it out so once you're done cutting the pattern paper place it on another fabric then use your pin to hold it down use your pin to secure it and cut it out remember where you want your wrap to be so while placing it on a fabric bear that in mind yes so once you're done you remove your pattern paper so use your pattern paper and make an overlap on the fabric yes use your pattern paper and make an overlap just like i am doing right now make an overlap on your fabric so after doing that i had to open it up again remember this has a side rope because this is a wrap dress it must surely have a rope so i came down with a kind of 1.5 inches i marked out two inches then later mark 1.5 inches so i will fold back my pattern paper again so once i finish folding it on this upper part just like this i will also go down to the down part and i will also fold in 1.5 i will measure out 1.5 on the pattern paper at that center front so i'll fold in 1.5 inches on the pattern paper and i'll also do the same to the fabric so i had to use my pin to hold it down so that you guys can see what i mean very very well you can see the effect already the wrap effect already on this piece so i used my pin to hold it down every single part of it so you can see how it looks so you can see how i'm cutting it out on this uh fabric i have already done that to the pattern paper so you can see the effect right now so our wrap dress is coming up bit by bit guys so guys right about now it is time to cut out your sleeves and if you do not know how to draft your sleeves i will leave the link down below on the video i made on how to do that it is so so very very easy to trace out yes it is so so easy so you cut out your sleeves and you set it aside so guys i actually used facing for this dress i do not like using bias a lot for my finishing i prefer using facing for my dresses so in order to have a very nice finishing i love using facing so you place your front parts or any part at all just this way use your pin to hold it down so by the shoulder side you measure out two inches by the shoulder then from the neckline you trace it out then after tracing it out you will also measure out two inches at that part so after doing that you connect your lines together yes you connect it together just like i am doing it right now you curve it this way then after curving it that way you use your scissors and you cut it out and this is for the front neckline 
so after cutting out the front uh, facing I will also do the same to the back part and I will take everything to the machine to sew at this point I have joined my shoulder and I've joined the face and I'll use pin to secure the wrap on the front part of the uh, gown yes to the front part of the gown I'll use my pin to hold it down and I've already joined the rope that is supposed to be on the wrap part so i'll also turn it over this way and use my pin to secure the sides yes the side i'm supposed to join yes you gently do this with your pin in order not to make any mistakes or in order not to join the parts that doesn't need to be joined so you use your pin to secure every part of this sides especially that wrap side so going over to the other parts i will also pin down my rope for this side yes i'll use my pin to hold it down and i will take it inside just this way hold it down with a pin before you close it up just this way so use your pin and also hold it down i will also be sewing my sleeves to it also so remember to also sew your zip just like you are seeing now so we are basically done with this gown i have done everything that needs to be done to this gown so guys remember to tack your facing to the dress yes so this is how to tie the sides once you follow the easy steps this is what you are going to get if you have any question drop it on the comment section do not forget to like this video share this video if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe to my channel Turn on your post notification to get notified whenever I post new videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And do not forget to like, share this video also. So guys, see you on my next video. Bye and thank you for watching.